Happy Wednesday morning. Keith Tebow from FRC Media here with you this week. And after a week off, it was my fault, not the mayor's. We have the Mayor Coogan with us again for our weekly uh, Wednesday conversation. Mayor, how are you today? I'm doing fine, Keith. How about you? I am doing great. Today is the official first day of summer. And even though the city has had a lot of events uh, over the past month or so as the weather has been getting warmer, I know we're getting to a point where it's really going to ramp up um, as we head toward, you know, the rest of June, July, and August. Uh, just as an example, yesterday you uh, held a press conference at Griffin Park to announce the third year of the Summer Evenings in the Park concert series, where uh, the city is partnering with Bristol County Savings Bank, uh, the Narrow Center, FRAC, uh, CD Rec, Viva Fall River, uh, to provide these, these concerts in the park uh, on a weekly basis on Wednesdays beginning uh, July 5th. And I know this started based on an incident that happened in Griffin Park to try to, you know, get that community to come together. But it really has expanded to a lot more. And it's really been a success story. It really has. I mean, we're doing eight parks now. I think the first year we did um, four parks twice, but it, it's really it's spread out across the whole city. We're going to open up at Griffin Park and we're going to end, I believe it's uh, Kennedy or Ruggles. I'm not sure which one. Oh, no, Lafayette. Um, but we do have a, a real good program going there between the spray painting, the cookout for the kids, music, um, vendors. There's things that kids can do, and it's it's a couple hours out of uh, out of your life that you get to have some laughs, and it's always fun. I try to hit as many of them as I can. We give the kids some ice cream or some Dell's lemonade, and uh, it's really a good event. It, it's expanded a lot. There's a lot more interest in it, and it's something we're working to make sure we keep it a, a very, very positive night for the residents of Fall River. Yeah, and I know that um, because it's in the eight parks, it's really spread out across uh, the community. I know a lot of times when the city in the past has done events, they seem to focus on certain locations, the waterfront, maybe Kennedy Park. This is uh, citywide, so there's really no excuse for people to come out. A lot of times they can just walk to them. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's every... We go to every park, I think, in the whole uh, city, or I mean, I shouldn't say that, eight of them. And they're, they're every every corner of Fall River is covered. Um, and again, you know, we, I'm with you. We can't do everything at the waterfront. We can't do everything at Kennedy Park. But this is where we get out to some of these uh, maybe lesser known parks or lesser used parks like Ruggles and some that um, are more neighborhood type parks, which is good. And again, you get people to walk down and see what's going on. There's some activity and it's, uh, it's a lot of there's a lot of kids there and it's a fun night and we're going to yeah keep going um, you know moving uh moving forward as we head toward the rest of uh the summer there's a lot of other events there's going to be more of it we talked about already the 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 food truck events that's going to be um you know uh every month that uh, we had the first one in june you got one july and august at the gates there's also uh an event the third friday's event that is being held also at the gates that will Again, have some food trucks, but also incorporate the farmers and, mar and artisans market that you that was held downtown is going to be in that area as well. And um, of course, we've got uh, other food truck uh, events throughout throughout the city. Um, how important is it to to build upon these uh, in general for city residents? Well, I mean, it's part. It's just part of the whole focus of trying to get people to come to Fall River to uh, spend the night out and have some fun in our city. Um, we recently just got through the uh, day of Portugal, which was a huge success down at the uh, gates. Um, our survey team was there from the um, UMass Dartmouth tourism program that's evaluating why are people coming to Fall River? What are they doing when they're here? And this is all part of getting people to come down to Fall River. If you look at the long-term planning with, um, with 79 being removed, which is going great guns right now, um, the renovation of property throughout the city, it's, it's, it's an attempt to, to market our city, give people positive events to come to, give them options and, and get people involved. And that's what we're looking for. Um, to, I mean, tonight there's a little basketball tournament we got to duck by, but there's a lot of things going on and it's already started and we're only in the first day of summer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the big event though, one of the big events for the city over the summer is it's 4th of July celebration. We touched upon it a little bit. Uh, this in some ways will be sort of a, a launching point for a, a potential events at the new Tom Norton City Pier. Um, how is that coming about? I know there's going to be concerts in a lot of locations, and it's only a couple of weeks away. 
yeah, it's 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 coming together really quickly. What we're doing now is getting signs made up for some of our designated parking areas. We're going to be able to use the Vall Street uh, parking for this event, just like we do every other year. So they'll notice no changes in people's ability to park on Duval Street. With that being said, we're going to be able to use the parking lot at Almax. We're going to be able to use the MBTA parking lot. Um, and so we have some other options coming together. Um, at the same time, I mean, you look at what we're doing. We're going to have the uh, military band down there with the artillery salute on um, right at the gates or at the Iwo Jima Memorial to start off the night and lead right into the fireworks. We're going to have as you come down towards the uh, bridge, you're going to have uh, the city pier now. We'll have, you know, face painting for kids, caricatures. We're going to allow uh, one of our local uh, breweries there to set up so people can get a have a beer um, if they'd like um, with Primo and uh, Troy City. That'll be on the city pier. We'll also have, um, uh, as you go down, you'll have the disc jockey and the food truck festival going on at Harry State Park. So it's going to go for a good half, three quarters of a mile of events where you can walk from one to the other and enjoy a, a night out. And we're culminating with the fireworks. It's, I think it's going to be a big, big event. Let's hope the weather cooperates and we'll be fine. You know, one of the things that a lot of people really don't realize is, you know, you as mayor, you can help organize these events. And when things go well, you know, boy, it was a great event. Everything happened uh, well and everybody enjoyed themselves. But there's so much work behind the scenes. I know in terms of um, help from like DCM and the police department and other city agencies that really are a lot of the unsung heroes in a lot of these events, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. I mean, We've already had two meetings in the conference room where it's standing room only with everybody talking about um, what could go right and what could go wrong and how to prevent it. Um, and again, it's across the board. It's police, fire, emergency medical services. As you said, DCM, Th these people all take a big role in trying to make sure these things go as smoothly as possible. There's always hiccups, but at the same time, as long as people go down there and have some fun, and we don't have any major problems. Um, it's going to be a good night in the city of Fall River. We've we've had nothing but uh, peaceful events the last few years, and we hope this one continues. All right. And with that said, we're looking forward to all the events here in Fall River. Mayor Paul Coogan, thank you for your time as always. We'll talk again soon. Take care. Okay. Thanks, Keith. All right. And thank you for joining us here on FRC Media. I'm Keith Tebow. Have a great rest of your day.